Dan, I've presented a lot of videos, uh, some better than others in my history of doing this pithy little open. Um, and despite the fact that Todd tried to hijack my morning meeting with wearing shorts in the <laughs> winter. Yeah, what's the deal? I, I got I to gotta stop you there. I got to stop you there, Todd, or I'll take over. Believe me, I want to do it goes, at least... It blew in the tank. I want to do at least four hours on you wearing this. Um, Brian Kelly, three hours. Brian Kelly, the Notre Dame... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Brian Kelly, the Notre Dame head coach. Um, I'm a guy who likes to em embrace where I go. Like, if I go up to Newport, Rhode oh, Island... God. See, you know... <laughs> If I go to like Newport, Rhode Island, I'm wearing spare, you know, I'm wearing yep. the shoes, the boat shoes. You fully immerse yourself sure. in the culture. If I go to Vermont, yeah, I'm wearing this. I have clothes for any endeavor. I don't have accents for any location accents. I visit. Like, so I don't, you don't have a heavier accent when you go up to Boston? No, like if I go to Germany, I don't, uh, no. eins, zwei, try. <laughs> I don't uh, do that. Beers, vim. Oh. Uh, here's Brian Kelly at the basketball game at LSU embracing the local community. It's a great night to be a Tiger. I'm here with my family. Oh my and God. And we are so excited to be in the great state of Louisiana, but more importantly, to be with you great fans. Okay. And to be part of. Before we chop this up too much, because we could easily do the whole show on it, we should. Would you like to bring in Wright Thompson, a famous writer from the South, and maybe decipher what accent that is? Is it Louisiana? Is it Mississippi? Is it Gulf Coast in general? Hint of Tennessee in there, perhaps. Right, there, maybe. And how many hours has he been there? <laughs> I think three days, tops? Maybe okay, bring and in. I reckon he feels like he's been there his whole life. Oh, it, wait, wait. It sounds wait. like Fletch. You said he's from the Deep South, right? Uh, <laughs> southern Massachusetts. Yeah, the oh. Southern Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In Southern Massachusetts, Andrew. Yeah. He uh, sounds like Fletch. The fine gentlemen speak with a little bit of a tone. Remember the Fletch uh, <laughs> movie where he inherits the... Uh, <laughs> and he's got the televangelist uh, played by Frank Ermey. Yeah. Uh, he's in Louisiana. I, I, there's something going on there. It reminds me of when Madonna went to London right. and Gwyneth Paltrow went to London and came back. <laughs> or when I was with Sean Bradley in Australia yeah. and he had an Australian accent. Oh. I'm almost positive that when I went to West Virginia for a year, I came back speaking more. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, more like a that. year. A year. I, that wasn't like my orientation weekend. I wasn't like, all right, now, fellas, let's I, go. I thought you were going to say you were speaking with an Australian accent when you went to No, Canada. I wasn't. No. You should have. But, but if I go to Ireland, I do sort of, you know, speak a little bit more in that tone. A little... But I don't go, hey, my family is here. It's great to be here. Oh, the great <laughs> state of New Orleans, <laughs> Louisiana, I mean. I wonder when he first took the Notre Dame job, was he all decked out the way he is with purple on purple on purple? He's got the LSU pin sure. and everything going well, on. He, he's got to be all in for $100 million. I'd wear what, I'd wear what you're wearing <laughs> right now.